the two Aston Martins of Lance Stroll and Sebastian Vettel starting from the pit lane. Uh, they remove the fuel, they put it back in again, and that's why they're starting from the pit lane, uh, because it was something they had to do outside the time limit to get their cars to the grid. It's the first ever Miami Grand Prix. We're racing in the States and it's lights out and away we go. And it's a great reaction from Charles Leclerc. It's a decent reaction from Max Verstappen, but Carlos Sainz is ahead of him. Leclerc into the first turn. It's wheel to wheel, Verstappen and Sainz. Sainz has just lost out to Verstappen, who makes up in the second place. Perez in the fourth place and then comes Valtteri Bottas and then comes Pierre Gasly. Lewis Hamilton under pressure from Fernando Alonso in the Alpine. Great start for Max Verstappen. He's made up a place, Ferrari won. One, two is now a one three with a red bull sandwiched in between uh, this is lewis hamilton now watch as he makes his way towards turn one and there's a little lock up coming here which was the first bit of bad news for lewis hamilton and then i think he gets a bit of a tap here from the left hand side there i've been hit from behind so i don't think we've suffered any damage and that was this man martin fernando alonso we'll see it better i think from his angle yeah, so Lewis has had a bit of a moment up the inside, gets pinched up against the apex, and then... Wheel yeah. to wheel, wasn't it? On board with Lewis Hamilton, chasing Fernando Alonso, who has shown great defence. Remember last year in Hungary to Lewis Hamilton, but has he got the defence this time around? Doesn't look like he has. Lewis Hamilton making his way up into seventh place, and the way that the Mercedes breeze past the Alpine on that particular occasion will be of great encouragement. Fight, uh, there's a great fight for P14 and 15 with uh, this year's uh, Williams driver, Alex Albon, and the guy who got him this year's Williams drive, George Hang Russell. Said, they're going for it. Max Verstappen on the inside has got Charles Leclerc and has taken the lead. DRS helping out the Red Bull. Extra pace helping out the Red Bull. The leaders swap round on lap nine here. Verstappen ahead of Leclerc. Fernando Alonso on the inside locks up. Couldn't really stop himself. Alonso gets a five second penalty for that contact down into turn one with Gasly, which I think is fair enough. Crumbs of comfort, I'm sure, for uh, Carlos Sainz, who uh, is another having a, a pretty lonely race. The place, oh. and oh dear, Lando Norris has made contact with the Alpha Tauri of Pierre Gasly. Sebastian Vettel slows down to avoid any further issues. And you know how things can change in a street race. Very, very quickly, we have a virtual safety car. Lando Norris is out of this race. And in the blink of an eye, suddenly things might just get more dramatic. So Russell, who was hanging out for a virtual safety car or a safety car, does make uh, his stop. Uh, so Gasly had gone wide through there, then wide again. In fact, he has backed off, hasn't he? And somehow he's not realised that Lando's coming through. And the tyre comes off like a polo mint. Luckily, stays within the confines of the racetrack. Safety car deployed. The, uh, they have to. Yep. Uh, I'm out, boys. Yes, mate. Sorry about that. I didn't want to happen. Perez already on the tail of Carlos Sainz here. He got much better traction out of that hairpin as we go racing here in Miami once again. And out in front is Verstappen from Leclerc behind Carlos Sainz defending against Sergio Perez. Valtteri Bottas right behind these two, waiting to pick up the scraps. Behind Bottas comes Hamilton and then Russell. Behind Russell, Alonso, Schumacher and Ocon in 10th. But Verstappen leads them away and he did get the jump on Charles Leclerc. And already there's a yellow flag as someone goes off in the first part of the sector quickly back onto the track again we're watching Sergio Perez chasing after Carlos Sainz now can he get good traction and good speed down this straight to try and put a move on the Ferrari by the time we get to turn 11 Sainz looks like he's got just far enough out of the way but Perez is coming back at him well, Hamilton should get DRS as well. He's making a move to try and uh, break the toe of George Russell. Russell wants to go the long way round here at the outside of the hairpin. This is a great battle between the two Mercedes drivers. And Valtteri Bottas has gone wide. That's allowed Lewis Hamilton to slip through and up into fifth place. And George Russell follows him and up into sixth. Perez is close and getting closer and has got DRS and is going to go for it. Down the inside into turn one, but he's outbraked himself. They made 
the briefest of contacts possibly, but Sainz had the awareness just to move to the left, allow Perez to go through. He locked up his brakes. Sainz said thank you very much. And that's the first attack from Sergio Perez survived for the Ferrari. Here's Sebastian Vettel. Why did he spin? Well, he was uh, going for the move there on, uh, on the house of Mick Schumacher. He managed to get his way through. Schumacher came back at him down the inside and that is why Sebastian Vettel spun and Mick Schumacher hitting him. Which gap was that? I didn't see that. And that's it, I guess. You can't be mates as Formula One drivers. You just can't. I mean, that's clearly my corner. Meanwhile, let's show you what happened with George Russell and Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, in the DRS, Lewis covers the inside. George says, well, I'll just go around the outside instead then. Max Verstappen started third on the grid. He is going to turn that into victory after passing Leclerc on the road to take the lead. He has held on to that lead. And Max Verstappen wins in Miami to come home first once again and extend the run that whenever he sees the chequered flag this season, he goes on to take victory. Charles Leclerc, for the first time in his career, will stand on the podium in the United States. Carlos Sainz makes it a 2-3 for Ferrari. Sergio Perez shares the spoils in the top four. It's Red Bull and Ferrari once again that take the top four positions. Yes! <laughs> what a race, Leeds. That was nice. Top one, that's really good. And Max Verstappen picking up another win to add to his tally in 2022. And it's time to spray the fizzy stuff, the sparkle, here at the Dolphin Stadium at the Hard Rock Stadium. Our first venture to Miami for a Formula One Grand Prix. And it's Red Bull who emerge on top.